Hi, welcome to the session on uh, CMA part two, strategic financial management. Uh, in this session, we'll be discussing trend percentages. Over a period of time, what is a change in my total assets? What is a change in my total sales? That can be found in a, an analysis called trend analysis. Trend analysis. Say, for example, we have a sale in year one, say uh, 250,000. Year two, 320,000. Year three, 340,000. Year four, say 450,000. Now we are in year four. This is the current year. And we'll have to see that what is a trend in sales over a period of four years. Over a period of so four years. So a series of years, we can find out we can find out the the growth or downfall in a particular component of the statement over a period of years by calculating the trend percentages. So while calculating the trend percentages, always take base year as 100. That is 250 is 100. How? 250 divided by 250 times 100. Obviously, it is 100. So base year trend will be taken as 100. So the first year is taken as base year always. The next year, trend is set like this, 320 divided by base year amount times 100. Third year, 340 over 250 times 100. 250 is constant. Always the base year is the denominator. Fourth year, 450 divided by 250 times 100. Let's, let's see uh, an example. In a trend analysis uh, based on this information. This information is for four years on your income statement 200,000, 190,000, 249,000, 260,000. Let's see what is a trend in our sales and cost of goods sold. So, trend in our sales and cost of goods sold goes like this. Uh, first year it is 100%, 200,000, over 200,000 times 100. Second year, when we work on second year, it is nothing but 190,000 over base year amount 200,000 times 100. This is 95%. Third year, third year amount is going to be 249 expressed in terms of 200,000, which is 124.5%. And in the fourth year, 260,000 over 200,000 times 100 is 130 percent likewise cost of goods sold first year 120,000 over 120,000 times 100 that is 100 percent but second year 117,800 divided by 120,000 that is 98.2 percent so what we understand is that each year figure divided by base year amount base year amount is constant so each year which year you are calculating that um, that year amount should be kept in numerator and base year amount let it be constant when you calculate the trend percentage for operating income you can see 60000 first year 60000 over 60000 times 100 that is 100% but second year 88% it is calculated like this 52800 divided by this amount 52800 divided by 60000 times 100 is 88% so we can know that in second year the operating profit decreased to 88% in third year it increased to 131% and in the fourth year it is you no know, increased to one so we can see that if uh, you express in graph this is 100% first year then 88% then 131% third year, then 150%. So the sales graph goes like this. Second year, it there's the downfall. Third year, again, it picked up. Fourth year, it picked up to 150%. So you can see a sales line, a pro operating profit line. This is the end of the session on uh, the financial statement analysis discussed about the horizontal analysis 
also called as comparative analysis or vertical analysis also called as common size analysis and we also uh, discussed about an analysis called trend analysis thank you and see you in the next session